webinar. On behalf of the organizing committee, consisting of Elena Fish, Katie Flanagan, Sabra Klein, Tobias Coleman, Jorge Dominguez Andres, and Frederick Charles Buchholzer, and myself, the organizing committee warmly welcomes you to this webinar. We will shortly be hearing whether childhood vaccines, like the vaccines against tuberculosis, measles, and polio, can protect non specifically against COVID 19. Just a few years back, most people were unaware that a vaccine developed against one disease could protect against another infection. That vaccines could have what Peter Abbey coined non specific effects several decades ago when he discovered that live measles vaccine reduced child mortality much more than could be explained from the prevention of measles infection. However, the pandemic changed that. Optimonize is a consortium of researchers with an interest in nonspecific and sex differential effects of vaccines. It was established in 2010 with funding from Novo Nordisk Foundation. And in February 2020, Optimonize hosted the world's first conference on nonspecific effects of vaccines at the Welcome Campus in Cambridge. At the conference, we were aware that there was this new emerging virus, SARS coronavirus 2, and we spent a lot of time discussing between us if the beneficial non specific effects of the live attenuated vaccines like BCG, measles vaccine, or polio vaccine could have a role to play. That is, if we could use existing vaccines to mitigate the impact of the new virus until specific vaccines could be developed. This would, of course, be fantastic. So many of us started developing protocols for randomized trials to test this hypothesis. And at the same time, researchers elsewhere in the world started publishing ecological analysis, concluding that COVID-19 was less frequent and less severe in countries that had a childhood vaccination program with BCG or all polio vaccine. So in fact, at the same time as the virus emerged, there were two hypotheses that a live attenuated vaccine like BCG would protect non-specifically against COVID-19 in the following months after vaccination, or maybe years, but, but shortly after vaccination, or the alternative hypothesis that childhood vaccines like BCG would protect non-specifically against COVID-19 many years or decades after uh, into older age. Today's presentations deal with the first hypothesis that recent vaccination would have an impact on COVID-19. And I personally did not have much faith in the hypothesis that less severe COVID-19 uh, or the less severe COVID-19 pandemic in low and middle income countries was due to their childhood vaccination program. And that association also weakened as more data came in, at least from South America. But nonetheless, the combined result of these two hypotheses was an enormous attention around non-specific effects of vaccines. Since the pandemic, there's been almost 300 papers published on nonspecific effects of vaccines and COVID-19, most of them on BCG vaccine. Several dozens of randomized placebo-controlled trials of live attenuated vaccines against COVID-19 have been initiated, again, mostly on BCG, but also on measles and polio vaccines and other vaccines. Most have had COVID-19 incidents as their outcome but others have looked at severe COVID-19 or infections in general. So for those of us who have worked with non-specific effects of vaccines on childhood mortality for many years, it has been a dramatic and very positive development. But it has also been somewhat scary because SARS coronavirus 2 is a special pathogen new to mankind. And with the beneficial non-specific effects of vaccines that we had seen against common childhood infections, also work against this new pathogen. And if not, would all the attention then backfire negatively on the research agenda of non-specific effects of vaccines? I feel like I've been holding my breath now for several years, and today we're going to have a first taste of the results. I just have some, a few practical comments before we start the seminar. At today's webinar, we have eight presentations, and many of the presenters bring <laughs> brand new, unpublished, and preliminary results. We request of all participants that they kindly respect the enormous generosity of the presenters. Please do not record or screenshot during the webinar, and do not share unpublished results on social media or elsewhere. 
I also know that there are journalists present today and, and to you, please do not publish anything from this webinar without explicit uh, permission from the presenters. We hope that the presentations will generate questions and discussions and everybody is welcome to write any question that they may have in the Q&A and, and please don't write them in the chat. We will take as many questions as possible as time allows after each uh, presentation and then try to deal with others during the panel discussion. During the panel discussion, we will also attempt to summarize the lessons learned. And I can tell you already now that there are some very intriguing patterns emerging. But this is only the beginning. Many large scale trials are still not finalized. And I want to alert you to the coming physical optimized conference in Denmark in November from November 9 to 11, 2022. Here we will follow up on today's webinar with more research results. And you should note that Denmark is among the safest place to be right now in the world. All restrictions have been lifted and almost all have had COVID-19. Except me, it seems. Is that because I took three BCG vaccines and one measles vaccine during the last two years? We are about to find out.